Welcome back developers, we got a video for you. I'm going to show you how to install an admin panel called Nexus Dynamics. If you like the video, consider hitting the subscribe button and let's hop right into the video. Go to toolbox and search Nexus Dynamics. The first one should be the one you need to insert. Just drag and drop it into workspace and you'll see this little thing appear. Inside of this folder, you'll see the purple module. Take this purple module and put it into service script service. You can delete the old folder. Next, click on the module, properties, and you'll see this prefix. You can change this to be whatever you want. This is for the commands to work in chat. To update the source, expand the module, go to source code, right click it, and there should be an option down here saying get latest package version. We have now successfully inserted Nexus Dynamics into the workspace. We now need to enable game security for this to work. In the link of the description, there is a video on how to enable it for the old generation. Right now, I'm using the new one, so if you have the new one, follow these steps. File, Game Settings, Security, and enable the first four options. Press the Save button, and you are done. You don't need to touch anything else anymore. You have successfully inserted Nexus Dynamics into your game. Press the Display button, and let's start ranking people. If you have done this correctly, you will see your already ranked owner. But if you aren't, you don't need to worry. The next step, you don't even need a rank. Type in slash setup and this should make a pop-up appear. Click run setup and you should now be in the license agreement section. Now nobody reads this, so we're all just going to press I agree and next, but you should read it. Now it's going to check and make sure that you did the setup correctly. If you did, you shouldn't have a problem. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to rank people. Now by default, the owner's already ranked and you can't remove them. But to add a new one, you can press the new button, choose what type of rank. I'm going to choose user and put their username in. Mark is getting ranked today. I'm going to rank Mark to admin. You can press rank and he should appear. If he stole your Robux and you don't want him to be ranked, press that X to remove him. Sorry, Mark. Once you're done, press the next button. This will require you to restart studio. So just press the red button and the blue arrow. Now we have successfully ranked people in the game. A lot of people ask me how to use themes, so I'm gonna quickly cover it. So to use export, I'm gonna quickly make a custom theme. So I'm gonna add a tint of, I'm gonna add a purple tint to my panel. I think that looks nice. To export it, click the export button and you should see this blue text appear. Just copy all the code below this line. And then once you give it to a friend, tell them to simply go to JSON, paste it in and import. And I'm going to quickly take this nice theme that Dragon gave us and I'm going to import it into my game. Just paste it in there and press import. It should tell you to rejoin and that's what we're going to do. Once you're in, you can already tell the themes here by the notification. But we're going to quickly change one setting in this theme because it's so blue. I'm going to make this white and it's such a nice theme. Thank you Dragon again for the theme. It's amazing. And that's how you use export and import. And that's all for Nexus Dynamics. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, share this with your friends and make people know what Nexus Dynamics is. Thanks again. Bye.